I visited local Toyota dealer for an oil change and look what I found here. It's a lifted pickup truck 2023 Toyota Tundra SR5 TRD four-wheel drive. I like its aggressive design even though I'm not a big fan of this color. Of course, as usual, I couldn't resist not to check the quality of this car and Tundra didn't disappoint me. Wink wink. I was shocked when I found the price tag and label with parts content information and place of assembly. I thought that only my cheap Toyota Camry Hybrid LE has quality issues, but I was wrong. Interior looks interesting, but it's not the subject of this video. Let's dive in under the fender and look what's in there. Here we can see Icon Vehicle Dynamic Suspension installed and what attracted my attention is that huge part of the engine is exposed to dirt and water. Here's a plastic splash guard on the left and smaller rubber splash guard on the right, but nothing in the middle at all. All the wires and sensors and electrical connectors here are not protected. This is the front driver's door, nice design, let's look closer, and closer, well, it doesn't look nice to me. Let's look again at this door and here I can see not very good looking edge of the plastic cover. One more interesting spot on driver's door, this gap in door cover hurts my eyes. Ok, now let's switch our side to the floor, do you see what I see? Do you see it now? This is what I see here. This plastic cover design looks nice from the first view, but there is a gap between it and door frame rubber seal. Also, the right end of the cover is not even or flush with the plastic part next to it. Toyota just laid it down on top, leaving gaps again. It's not clean. And plastic not fixed well and wobbles. Now let's check the rear passenger's door and we have the same gaps issues in plastic cover. To me personally, this speaker cover looks cheap and ugly for the amount of money they ask for this Toyota Tundra. Here's the same design issue with plastic step cover I showed you near the driver's seat in front. Huge ugly gaps. I found a small crack in front bumper on the right side. Here are a few other body assembly moments I personally see and they make me sad. Door metal is so soft that you can see it flexes when I push it just with my fingers and plastic frame around the rear passenger window doesn't sit tight and wobbles and there are ugly gaps around it again. On the left side of this Tundra on passenger's door frame, I found this chip under the paint on the center pillar. It's right in front of your eyes, it's not somewhere you don't see. It would really annoy me. This is not the quality of paint job I personally expect from Toyota. And the last and interesting part, it has 60% of US and Canada parts and only 15% of parts from Japan. Country of origin of engine and transmission parts of this Toyota Tundra is USA. And it was assembled in San Antonio, Texas. And the price for it, drum roll, $73,000. $73,000. Just stage four icon lift kit with 20 inch hostile wheels and Toyota RT open country tires package is 13 grand. And for the digital license plate, they also charge one grand. I have a question. Are you okay with such kind of quality for a Toyota Tundra TRD for $73,000? Honestly, or it's just me complaining too much? <laughs> Please let me know. See you.